So for number 26, winner on 9, we've got KOH. Uh, it's at 25 degrees, we've got 5.00 times 10 to the minus 8 molar. And the problem with this, and the, what they want to know is the pH. The problem with this, if you take the negative log of this number, then you're going to get uh, a number that's greater than set or less than seven, and so sometimes you get something that doesn't quite make sense. So if you have a concentration that's somewhere like ten to the minus seven, ten to the minus eight, ten to the minus nine, anywhere in that ballpark, you have to solve it in a unique way. So normally with a strong base like this one, we just say, well, this concentration equals the hydroxide concentration, and so thus I can find the pOH and then the pH uh, for any strong base. But I can't do that when I have a dilute strong base or a dilute strong acid. So in this case, there's different ways to solve it, but my favorite is this. You write out the, what's called the auto-ionization of water, which you might recognize as this reaction. And we're going to make something that sort of looks like an ice table, but it's not really, tr not truly an ice table, but that's okay, who cares? It helps us solve the problem. Uh, zero, there's none of this initially, but initially there's this. So it has to shift to the right, towards the zero. So plus x, plus x, so we have x, and 5.00 times 10 to the minus 8 plus x. So now when we set up the formula, uh, k, and now this is kw, and you would need to know that, and then the kw would be, I assume, I'm pretty sure it was given on this final. If not, you could ask the TA for it, is this number, and that's the H3O plus times OH minus. Well, I know both of those. They're in the previous part of the problem down there. That's x times 5.00 times 10 to the minus 8 plus x. So I have one equation and one unknown. And that's x. So I solve for x. And unfortunately, oops, unfortunately for these kinds of problems, you do have to use a quadratic. There's really no way to get out of it here. And x is equal to what important concentration? Well, the H3O plus concentration in this case, or x plus 5 times 10 minus 8 is the other one, and you eventually go to pH. Does that sound okay? Okay, the way they solved it in the key is different because that's the normal way to solve it, and I just realized that doesn't make any sense. So that's why I do it this way. Now you're expecting a number because it's a base just above 7. And they got 7.11, which is totally what I expect. If it was a multiple choice, I would have guessed the number just above 7. Yeah. But in this case, you actually have to solve it. Yeah? So you don't, you don't put the answers on the multiple choice? It's just already? Or uh, in this the, case, uh, no, in this case, this was a short answer or a long answer or something. Long like answer. But so you're not the one who makes those little, you know how they have like just like quick short things that's not you writing those? Solution. Huh? Oh, these solutions? Yeah, I yeah. guess. Thank you. Uh, it depends who submitted the problem. Oh, okay. Uh, I don't know if I submitted this, but I used to do it this way until I realized that this is much easier. Okay. Yeah. So it could have, oh, I doubt if this one was me, but uh, had I submitted that from now, you know, in the last few years, this is how I write the solution to it.